Dan and Janice Waters, they're our youth leaders, and uh, they're just precious, precious people. And uh, I wanted you to meet them. And, uh, they, and, uh, <laughs> But they, they have worked so hard uh, to, to build our youth program. And we wanted to start this off with something special. Our, our kids here uh, have worked hard on this little skit, and I know they're going to enjoy it. So, uh, anything you want to say before they, they do their thing? Okay. Now just close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Picture yourself up in New York City on a sound stage for live television. Okay, everybody there? Yeah. Now, when this is done, y'all don't forget to come back, okay? Y'all don't sit there all night. But this skit, y'all, or this this is so funny. But uh, y'all going to enjoy this. What's the name of it? The No Talk Talk Show. Tonight, Dave's guest includes Josh. And here's Dave. Yay! Yay! Tonight's show is so good, you may actually want to plug in your television set. A very special guest is with us tonight, the Supreme Being. That's right, we'll be talking with God. But first, let's say hello to our good friend, Mr. Paul Shaker. Thank you, Dave. What an exciting show, the creator of our universe on our show. Can we talk to him now? Later, Paul, later. Right now, it's time for our top five list from the home office in Colorado Springs. Here are the top five ways to mispronounce Chronicles. Number five, Barnacles. Number four, Crop Dusters. Number three, uh, Popsicle. Number two, Chronic Illness. The number one way to mispronounce Chronicles is Corinthians. That was truly inspiring. Now it must be time to talk to God. Later, Paul. Later. Our first guest is the TV star of this old sitcom. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Buddy Millstone. <laughs> Buddy, you're so old everyone thought you were dead. <clears throat> well, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, Dave, is it time to talk to God yet? Later, Paul, later. Well, thanks for being with us, buddy. Come back next time, that is, unless you're dead. Mr. Buddy Millstone. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> later, Paul, later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our next guest appears in the upcoming motion picture, A Leech of Their Own. Please welcome the lovely and talented Angela Fluff. So Dave, do you like my dress? It's stunning. What about my shoes? Very nice. Well, is my hair okay? It's fine. Are we going to talk about your appearance all night? <laughs> what else is there? <laughs> Time to talk to God yet? Later, Paul, oh, later. Mama. Well, Angie, thanks for coming. Come back and see us next time you get your hair fixed. Miss Angela Fluff. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's talk to God. Later, Paul. Later. It's <laughs> the first segment we call Stupid Hat Trick. The man from our home studio audience is going to put his hat on his head using only one hand. Oh, just a minute. This has gone far enough. We cannot keep the maker of all things waiting forever. Of course we can, Paul. He's eternal, remember? With him, a day is a thousand years. Maybe it's the other way around. But... Okay, Paul, just for you. We'll skip the man with the hat. Ladies and gentlemen, our last guest is known around the globe as the beginning and the end. He's been called all-powerful, all-knowing. His story is known as the world's most popular book, the Bible. Please welcome... Uh, Dave, I'm afraid you don't have time. Oh, well, we'll just bring God back some other night. We can always talk to him later. What? 
Be with us tomorrow night, folks, when our guest will be the group Smashing Squashes and the lady who collects used earplugs. Good night. <laughs>